prohibitory functions of RBI. So there are certain functions which are prohibited by the Reserve Bank of India. Prohibited means which are debarred or the bank does not allow, the Reserve Bank does not allow these functions to be acted. So the RBI Act prohibits the bank to perform certain activities so that it may not compete with other banks and may keep its assets in liquid form. So this uh, prohibited functions can be noted as it can neither participate nor provide any direct financial assistance to any industry. So direct connection between any industry or trade or business is prohibited. Number two, it is not allowed to purchase its own shares. So it is not allowed to purchase any kind of shares by the RBI. Number three, it will not be able to purchase shares of any banking company or corporations. Apart from any personal shares, it is not allowed also to buy any kind of company shares. Also, it cannot give any kind of loans on the securities. It cannot also purchase any kind of property except for the office. The bank cannot give interest on deposits held by it or it will not be able to accept bills not payable on demand. So these are the main prohibitory functions of RBI.